hey you guys welcome back to my channel um thank you so much for tuning in and if you haven't subscribed please do um today i'm gonna show you guys a detailed video of how to bleach bath a black wig to blonde and i'm gonna show you everything you're gonna need which is a, a wig of course <laughs> this is the wig that i just showed you now and it comes as this natural black color so what I did there is I sprayed got to be glued on the roots because I don't want the roots to be completely bleached. I want them to remain dark and if they're not dark enough, you know the drill. I always go in with a darker color or with a black again. So first and foremost, I always need gloves. Bleach is so dangerous, guys. Do not have this in your hands or on your skin i always emphasize this because i know what it can do to your skin um, you are going to need bleach the bleach that i'm using in here is the novel bleach i'm going to use novel bleach and novel developer this is one of the best brands that i've ever used and i'm going to use a 30 cream developer so i'm going to add it with the liquid clear developers these are from um clicks you can get them at clicks I'm not quite sure if Discam has, but I will double check. And the, the liquid clear developers that I'm using here are 40 volume, which means that it's going to process more than the 30. And I bought four bottles for the 22 inch. You are also going to need a clarifying shampoo and I'll leave the d details of what it does in the description box. Please check because it's a little bit long. You're also going to need foil to cover the container that you're going to be bleaching in for a quicker processing. I did not know how much bleach I would need, but I started with three scoops of the bleach. And this is the same Novell bleach that I use. It's just in a different container because I lost the other Novell container. Um, I also, I didn't really measure this part. I just wanted the cream developer to soak the bleach just to activate it a little because it's very tough to mix the liquid clear developer. It, it's just running and it's frustrating. As you can see, it's easy to, to like mix the... Um, the cream developers with the bleach it just makes it so smooth but you're gonna see what happens when i pour this um, clear developer you'll see it's just too watery it's runny but it's good for this process and you can see how difficult it gets to mix sometimes i feel like mixing it in a small bowl and then bring it bringing it into the bigger bowl but then you end up losing a lot of content along the way you end up losing a lot of bleach to the smaller containers so in here i know that there won't be any bleach wasted You definitely need to take your time to mix this bleach because you are going to have lumps along the way because of the um, the liquid clear developer. It's quite difficult. So I'm actually blending it like a vendor woman that I am. <laughs> this is how we cook um, our maize. And you can see that it makes everything just run all over. Don't get frustrated. Take your time and just thoroughly mix everything together. So I added three for now and then just try to mix it nicely and then the fourth one i added it a little bit later Now comes in the clarifying shampoo. I also didn't measure this part. It's actually equivalent to two scoops or you can just put one scoop as long as the clarifying shampoo is mixed well with the bleach. You, it will assist in um, lifting toxins or um, any chlorine that is on your hair. It actually detoxes the hair for you while it's bleaching and it protects the quality as well. So I didn't really have a manual to 
as to how to put in the hair i just dipped it inside but if you can check i always protect the closure part where i don't want the bleaching to happen and then i'm just going to soak in um the rest of the hair trying to make sure that every strand is covered it's very important that you open up your wig and put in that bleach because it has to cover everything so some of you can actually see that there are still lumps in the bleach it's not that consistent and it's not that smooth but as you use your brush to brush through the hair you are actually killing most of the lumps trust me by the time i was done putting this bleach i could see that the lumps are no longer there most of them are gone and then it looks very very smooth on the hair so one other thing that you're not supposed to do is to just dip in your wig and leave it as it is the friction that you are you are creating while brushing the hair actually um makes causes motion that is going to result in a faster heating process you'll see that by the time we are done with um putting all this bleach on the hair the hair is already changing color because you are already um creating heat for the bleach to process So I purposefully did not speed up this process because I want you guys to see that um, how the wig is already changing to a brown. You can actually zoom in, pause this video, zoom in and then you will see that the wig is t changing color already. And mind you, I'm still holding the closure so that the bleach does not touch it. It will touch a few bits and pieces but then the, the got to be spray is going to help us with it not bleaching. So I tried to bring in the wig a bit closer to the camera so that you can see how the color is changing. It's already brown and now you are going to need the foil to cover it up so that it starts processing nicely. I'm just going to tell you now that I actually did this uh, foil process for 30 minutes in total but I stopped every 10 minutes just to check what's going on, how the color is changing as well. I really like this part where in I, I am amazed at how the color changes. Um, I'm just going to wear my gloves because I don't want to touch the bleach. And you can see that it's already turning golden brown, which is so beautiful. If you want to stop um, bleaching the wig and you love this color, you can always stop the process here, wash it off, rinse it and condition it. But for me, I wanted to go for something a little bit lighter and a little bit more blonde. Another thing is that um, I don't like the container I'm using in this video because it has a ripple effect at the bottom and you will see that when I remove the wig there's a bit of a ripple, a ripple effect on the wig but then our roots are still um, dark which I like so I'm just going to brush through so that I eliminate that process that was happening there the ripple effect thing that I'm telling you about is because of the container at the bottom. Another reason why I, I always um, um, recommend that you stop every 10 minutes is because some hair bends and then you are going to find that your hair is burning on the inside or um, there's a bit of, there's a bundle that is wrong which is making the hair burn. So it's always good to check every now and then before you find out that your wig is gone.
So 20 minutes later, this is how the wig looks. You can see that it's going blonder and blonder, <laughs> which I absolutely love. I was actually amazed at this part. It was so beautiful and I didn't want to stop. But if you feel like your hair is burning and there's a little bit of smoke, wash the with caution, just wash the wig off. So this is the last 10 minutes and the, um, the wig, as you can see, the wig didn't process that much from the last um, 20 minutes. It just bleached a little bit on the roots. But then the blonde is fine with me. I love this blonde. I am just cautious of my roots and I love them a little bit dark. I'm just going to put a little bit of brown dye in there. And I'm going to show you the inside. Even the inside, uh, the roots are still a little bit dark. But then the ends are blonde. And it's very good for women of color. We actually blend very well with this type of wigs. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm just making my job easier in the basin. Uh, removing all the bleach now, most of it now, it helps me wash the wig quicker. And it doesn't waste water because I'm just washing the little bit of bleach that is left on the hair. Now this is how the wig looks after washing. I don't know if it's the lighting in here because it looks a little bit golden. Whereas in real color it's blonde. I also tried to switch the lights on and off just so you guys can see the true color. But I don't know why it still looks a little bit um, a little bit brownish instead of blonde. And the roots, I dyed them a little bit with a, with a Revlon hair color, um, a dark brown one. And this is how it looks. So the hair does not have any damage. Um, it didn't even shed i also tried to put the comb that i'm using um on this on the lens so that you guys can see that there is no hair that is breaking and i just blow dried it and straighten it i didn't curl it or anything but i think i'll do a curl um a curl video separately and then you guys will see this hair properly on it and i'll also try to take pictures outside so that you guys can see how ash blonde or how blonde this wig is So I also tried to use my phone, but then I realized with my phone, this wig looks a lot yellow, which I don't even like, but I just wanted you guys to have a view of it. Anyways, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share those videos with your friends. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.